new development and i think that's what the home of the people i know and i want to talk about the development but i have to get this out of the way you reign um, for ODM. You wanted to represent Homer Bay through ODM ticket, and this was not possible. There was a truce, and people fell out, and they decided to support uh, the candidates. And the top leading candidates is yourself and Gladys Wanga. And of course, Raila Odinga himself uh, has said he wants ODM uh, there because he wants his troops. I'm just looking at your ability to beat. A political party candidate in that what is this magic stick that you have governor that you think you have a chance against odm in that area can let me just take you a little bit there were about nine of us who were running and it took only three days for all the nine to drop off uh, and i'll say without fear of contradiction that it was done through coercion uh it said that um, that, that uh, there was consensus, but there was no consensus because, I mean, if I go back into, into the dates, uh, Mweshi Mwambadi was called on the 23rd, which was um, on a Wednesday, 23rd of March, and told to drop off. Mm -hmm. uh, this was confirmed on Saturday, the 26th. On the 24th, uh, Oyugi Mwagwanga and the rest were called and told to drop off. I was called on the 27th, which is a Sunday, uh, and told that it was necessary. But I told him, no, I mean, uh, the, it is important that there might be people make a choice of the person they want through a process. And uh, Article, 1, sub, um, Article 1 of the Constitution, sub Article 1, says that the, the sovereign power belongs to the people of Kenya, and they'll exercise this sovereignty mm. uh, through their, uh, either directly by themselves or through their elected um, elected uh, uh, leaders. Uh, so uh, whoever called me, I told them that, no, I mean, uh, who are you to ask me to, I won't tell you who it was. But Why? I mean, to, it's just fair to say yeah, if, yeah, you're, if you're called. So, so uh, the following week on Wednesday, I was told that there's supposed to be a meeting, but both myself mm -hmm. and Louis Otieno, you know Louis Otieno, um, out of the nine candidates who are standing, one had dropped off on Saturday to back with somebody. Um, to back uh, Chairman Badi. Uh, and even by the time he was backing Badi, Badi that was already Jared. knew. That was Jared. Jared, yeah. yeah that was Jared 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 Badi yes. already knew that he had been asked mm -hmm. to, to step down. But they still held that elaborate yeah, function. This, in they Homer. still held that uh, elaborate function in mm -hmm. Homabe. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, for people who know him very well, knew that he wasn't, um, he wasn't, him, uh, he wasn't uh, him, himself because he had been prevailed upon uh, to, to stand down. So on um, the Tuesday, Wednesday, I mean, there was someone to Nairobi for a meeting. I was never invited to... You were never invite. invited to the meeting I, here in the capital? I was never invited, and Louis Otieno was never um, invited, and that can be confirmed uh, independently. And probably I was only told when the meeting was on that uh, uh, there's a meeting here, can you come? But I was already, uh, I was already um, uh, doing something else, I said, I mean give me about an hour. But before I could finish and go, I saw the announcement being made. So there was no consensus because the definition of consensus mm -hmm. is everybody must agree. Uh, and there's no voting in consensus. So basically, I mean, it was a direct, uh, direct nomination guys under consensus. So because of that, you are encouraged to go on and uh, stay in the race and i went back and talked to the people of Omebe and said yeah no, we don't we we want to make a choice of the best person who's run home to run home Bay because i mean we've had a devolution for 10 years and we don't see any benefits or fruits so they urged me to go on and that's why i said and article 85 of the constitution obviously does allow for independent candidates and uh, under that i uh, ran i'm running as an independent uh, candidate mm -hmm. and uh, I believe that the Homer Bay people are happy with my candidature and uh, they are going to elect me okay. on the 9th of August. You are known as a technocrat. You're not a politician. You first political 